Good afternoon, YouTube. Brew by me, right back at you with another beer review. <clears throat> it's gonna be my last one for a little bit today, and I'll do some more tonight, I think. Tonight, I'm gonna be reviewing a beer from St. Thomas, Ontario. This is the Dead Elephant IPA. Now, I've, I believe I have done this one. I've done a review on this one already, like three years ago. So I'm going to do another review on it, just because I have it, and it came in a gift pack with a glass. I'm going to use my IPA glass, made by Sierra Nevada and Dogfish Head. 6.5% um, ABV, uh, 500 mil well, 473 milliliter can. It's a strong beer, it's an IPA. Here's to Jumbo, world's largest elephant, friend and prized attraction of P.T. Barnum's traveling circus. It was 1885 here in St. Thomas where he met his early demise in a tragic railway accident. That'll be forever remembered in the annals of beer and Canadian history. In, this on in his honor, we've crafted this full body ale, live life lager, or live life large. He'd have wanted it that way and for you drink for you to drink responsibly. Um, www.railwaycitybrewingcompany, handcrafted in St. Thomas, Ontario, Canada, which is south of me. So, there you have it. It's a beautiful golden color, perfectly see through. You know, nice solid two fingers of white, tiny head. Let's give it a smell, see what we think, peeps. All right, there it is. Sweet caramel toffiness, citrus um, characteristics, white grapefruit. Kind of tropical fruits like uh, passion fruit, slight bit of pine. Cheers. Medium body, moderate carb carbonation. Take a swig of it up front. You get that sweet caramel toffee characteristic as it rolls across your tongue. That citrus, piney kind of characteristic sticks out. The very back of your throat dries up. You're ready for another swig. Very easy drinking, no off flavors. It's definitely, there's different ranges of IPAs. You've got your low end IPA and your high end IPA. I'm gonna say this is at the low end of the IPAs. Cause there is nice um, malt characteristic and there is nice hop characteristic, but it's just, it's just an average IPA. It's nothing fantastic and it's nothing that blows my mind. I've had tons of IPAs and this is average. Um, you know, it's a beer that's trying to get the uh, macro snobs like Budweiser, Coors, mm. Miller's guys. It's, it's a beer that those guys might try and drink and enjoy. Um, but just a nice sweet malt characteristic, citrus, tropical fruit kind of punch there, a little bit of pine. All in all, a fairly easy drinking, simple beer. Um, it is what it says it is, it is an IPA, but it's not blowing my mind. It's not blowing my mind. It's an average beer, you know, so. For those people that are just getting into craft beer and wanna try like an IPA or something, this is something that they should try. Dead Elephant, India P Pale Ale. Um, you know, because it's not like, the, the flavors aren't like way up here. The flavors are like 
average they're right there you know so it's not gonna you know freak somebody out when they try it um, they'll be able to drink it and enjoy it and uh, that's it that's all like uh, would I buy it again probably not if somebody offered it to me will I drink it hell yeah um, you know it's it's a good IPA uh, you know for what it is I think it's like close to three dollars a can so you know, so that's 500 milliliters, well, 473, so you're looking at <coughs> almost 22 ounces of beer for three bucks. Not bad. If you went to a bar and ordered that, you're probably playing close to nine. So, two row pale malt, some caramel crystal malts in there, some carafong, some sea hops in there. And yeah, uh, moderate carbonation, moderate mouthfeel, easy drinking, fairly clean, fairly crisp, fairly refresh refreshing. And yeah, you know, I don't mind the beer at all. I would drink it again, but I wouldn't buy it again. Unless it came in a gift pack with a different glass, then I'd buy it. So, there you have it another beer review by brew by me please rate comment subscribe leave any suggestions ideas in the comments box and I will get back to you as soon as I can I want to thank you each and every one of you for watching and until next time brew by me is out Ch cheers hell yeah